Hey guys, welcome to the 18th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the rest of these modified tools right here. And the first tool that we're going to be looking at is the split. And the split will basically just split a line where it intersects with another line. So right here we have two lines. So we have this line right here and this line right here. And we see that it is indeed one solid line. So when we put our cursor over this right here, the entire line turns white. Well, let's say we want to split this into two lines. So we want this to be a line from here to here, and we want this to be a line from here to here. All right, so we can just go ahead and use the split tool for that. So we just go up to modify right here, the split tool, click it, and then we're going to want to select the line that we want to basically split. And we want to split this line right here. So we're just going to hover our cursor over this, and we see that a little red uh, X shows up where it's actually going to split the line. So it'll split the line in two right there. All right, so we just click, and now we have two different lines right here. So we have this line right here and this line down here. So we can move this line, and it won't have to move the other line. All right, uh, one cool thing about the split tool is it won't remove constraints. So let's say we have um, two perpendicular lines right here that also happen to be vertical and horizontal. All right, so this line's um, constrained to be uh, horizontal, and this line's constrained to be vertical. So let me just prove that to you by showing all the constraints. And yep, as you can see right here, this line is constrained to be um, vertical, and this line is constrained to be perpendicular to this line. So it has to be uh, horizontal. All right, so if we were to split this line in half, um, those constraints would still be there. So we just go up to split, split the line in half, and we see that now those constraints are still there. So if we move this line, um, it has to move the other line with it as well because this entire line is constrained to be perpendicular with um, this line right here. All right, so that's just something neat and something that you're going to have to keep in mind whenever you're using the split tool. All right. So the next tool that we're going to be looking at is the scale. And the scale will basically just allow you to make something bigger or smaller all at once. So if you have one crazy figure and instead of having to resize everything individually, um, you can just go ahead and use the scale tool to do it all at once. So let's just say right here we have some crazy design and we want to keep it um, exactly how it is. We just want to make it a little bit smaller or bigger. So we can just use the scale tool to do that. So we just go up to scale. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is basically select what we want to make smaller or bigger. And for us, that would be just all of this. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle around it to select it all. And then we're just going to want to select a base point. Again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. It's similar to the move and copy and rotate. So I'm just going to put it, um, I guess, at the origin right there. And now when I move my cursor, we see that it just makes that shape um, bigger or smaller. And if you want to make it exact, you can just go over here and type in the box exactly um, what you want to scale it to. So if you want to make it half of what it used to be, you just type in 0.5 right there, and now it's half the scale of what it was before. So we just apply that, and now it's half the size it was before. And if we wanted to make it two times the size it was before, um, we can just go ahead and select it all, select the base point, and I'll just type in four right there because if you type in two then it will just be the original size but if you type in four to make it two times bigger than it was originally so now we just press apply and yep it's two times bigger than it was originally all right so the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the stretch and the stretch will basically just allow you to stretch something so let's just say we have um, a corner of a rectangle right here and we want to stretch this corner out and like bring it out there so it's not really a rectangle anymore. So we're just going to use the stretch tool for that. So we just select the stretch tool. And then we're basically going to want to select what we want to stretch out. And for us, that would just be these two lines right here. So we just select this line and this line right there. And then we're going to want to select a base point. Doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm just going to put it right there. And again, we get this message, and it says the geometry being edited is constrained to other geometry. Would you like those constraints to be moved? And basically what that means is if we stretch this out, it's going to conflict with existing constraints. So this um, line right here is constrained to be vertical. This line is constrained to be horizontal, and they're obviously perpendicular to one another. So if we stretch that out, 
Um, these obviously aren't going to be horizontal and vertical anymore. They're just going to be different. So it's basically asking us if it wants to remove those so that we can stretch it. And if we want to stretch it, we're going to have to remove those. So I'm just going to hit yes right there. And now you see it allows me to stretch out that corner uh, however I want. So if I could even push it in a little bit if I wanted to make, uh, I don't know, like a boomerang, I guess. Or I could stretch it out if I wanted to make some other crazy shape. I guess I'll just stretch it out right there. And as you can see, the corner of that rectangle is now just stretched out. All right, and the last tool that we have to look at is offset. And offset is very similar to scale. The only difference is uh, when you resize it and click, instead of it resizing the original, it just makes a copy of the original that's that size. So the first thing we have to do is just select this offset tool right here, and then basically click on what we want to offset. And for us, that would just be this um, uh, shape right here. So I'm just going to select it, and as soon as I do, I can just move my cursor, and uh, it basically just resizes the original. And we can just make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to make it smaller for right now. And when I click, you'll notice that it doesn't actually resize the original. It just makes a copy of the original. So we can have as many of these as we want. So we just have one inside of that, and one inside of that, one inside of that, and so on. Or we could just make it bigger if we wanted to. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the offset tool. And that finishes up uh, everything inside of this modify category right here. So, see you guys.